Hi, I'm John Balicki, and this is a video about hack attacks, and um, I'm looking to chat with independent journalists. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, if you approach me, I'm presuming that, you, that there's a very high chance that you were sent to me on behalf of the people who are hacking me to waste time. So, um, and that goes not to be paranoid, but, you know, obviously it's suggestions too, but I am open to the su suggestions. Okay. So what I'm going to talk about in this video, um, so do not act beha on my behalf against any groups. I'm not going to name names, but I am going to name groups. Um, and vaguely so. Um, everything that, that I do since 2008 is monitored uh, surveillance. I'm going to explain how corruption works in the world with the cabal. Uh, I am in a very high-tech business with very high precision. So the things I'm going to be talking about... Uh, I don't see because I want to see, or because I don't want to see it, but all paranoid. Um, I'm a philosophical realist, I'll talk, I'll talk about that. Um, psychological effects of the attacks, and you know why um, I am going out of my way uh, when I'm trying to build my business to shoot this video and whatnot, even though it might be uh, a negative thing, um, and how, no, I'm, not, I, 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 I'm immune to the manipulation. Uh, my value is your massive or none. Very simple. There's not really none between for me. And uh, popular, my, my effects on popular culture, for crying out loud, um, spoiler, it's not intentional and it's not not something um, I, we'll get to that. And I want you to download the source video so that you have the source video. Um, so, because we're already entering the, the point with technology where there's like deep fakes and all this other stuff. So, um, you know, and I don't know, you know, there's a lot that can go on. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's go over the hack attack. So, um, let me talk about the, about the high tech business first. Okay, and I apologize about, about this camera, but my Logitech, but the USB from my Logitech camera, the plating came off, and so now I'm stuck with this crappy Roswell with the microphone and the camera that I can't keep, keep focused. Anyway, so, uh, I work in technology. I have, I don't like egotism. I don't like uh, big, loud people who are, who are, or have no real internal substance. Um, that is not my thing. I'm not interested in, in getting people's attention, generally speaking. Um, so the, the purpose of the video is, is different. I'll, I'll cover that a little bit besides the, the journalist bit. And I'll get into the psychology of that. So basically, <coughs> um, so in my uh, philosophy and, and business, so my philosophy is I'm a philosophical realist. I see things, I, I take my perception and my emotions, I keep them separate, okay? Existence is whatever it is, regardless of how I feel about it. And yes, I do have how I feel about it and how things I feel emotionally or whatever, but I keep them separate, okay? A lot of people... I would say probably most people do not make that distinction. Um, our senses of sight, you know, sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch, um, those are relative. Existence is absolute. Existence is whatever it is, regardless of how we feel about it, regardless of the fact that we, we can't see all the frequencies, we can't hear all the, the levels of vibrations and whatnot. And so we can extend that ability to detect, because that's what our senses do. Our senses detect aspects of our environment. Okay, and a technology allows us, um, when we have it, to extend that ability to detect. All right, uh, that's why we know there's the stars and galaxies and, and all that other fun stuff, and that there's things that we can't hear, like you know how whales communicate, but we can't hear it with you know our, our range of frequency. Fun stuff. Well, that's not the the point of this video. Okay, so um, so with the senses, um, this is part of my way of saying I'm a logical, rational human being. I'm not like some crazy pants. All they're out to get me, that kind of thing. Um, it is, it's not a black and white, good bad, good guys, bad guys. This is, it's all over, okay. Um, and there's a lot of people involved in this, a lot of different attitudes, I presume, um, and a lot of in, in, in the mix. Um, there was literally, I was told that there was a vote to see if I would be murdered, and congratulations, we we decided not to murder you. There is government, we'll talk about that, there are um, secret societies, not they're not so secret, but whatever, 
Um, it's people just don't do research. Um, so if you really want to have a rich, fuller life, and you don't want to demonize everyone that's in and around you, um, around you, and in, in your environment, um, I recommend watching documentaries, especially of different people in different cultures and whatnot, but not to the point where you destroy your own culture. Uh, I'll talk about Marxism and all that stuff later. So basically, um, how do I know about the surveillance, what's going on with the surveillance, the weapons that are used, etc. So, um, so just my technology, there's 5 million characters of code in my technology. Okay? If I'm missing a semicolon, a period, certain characters, my entire system will just stop working. Period. Okay? Uh, I have a system set up that when I, I, I log all my errors, all of them. So if there's an error, I know instantly. So I actually take pride in knowing that I'm wrong. Right? Most of it, well, I'm not wrong, I can't be wrong, I'm an all-knowing deity and I know everything. No. That's egotism. Egotism doesn't help people. Oh, I can help you with my 112 years of experience. You know that's BS, okay? Um, so skills and learning, knowing that you're, you're not wrong, and self-correction, that builds up your skills. Anyway, so... Um, there's a lot of human psychology involved, and everyone ha has these shared psychological weaknesses. I'm not going to get into those in this video. I will talk about those uh, in, in a, um, some videos at some point in the, in the future. Um, but basically, the, the simplest thing that you can do is you're holding the phone, go to the bathroom, stand in front of the mirror, and watch your face as I'm going to talk about this. Or if you're in a, using a desktop like me, I actually have my PC that's getting hacked and my Mac Mini. Um, that doesn't get hacked, or it can't, or it won't, I don't know, okay, um, so get like a, a portable mirror, and hold it in front of yourself, so when I'm going to say something, if you laugh, or you make a dumb look with your face, that's how you know that they managed to get past your left brain, remember, my left is your right, and your right, uh, my right is your left, okay, because the whole, the way the cameras work, left brain protects your, your right brain. Your right brain presumes whatever the left brain sends it is true automatically. So if they figured out how to disable the mechanisms of the left brain to brainwash people, okay, and there's other, um, a lot of uh, corruption, I'm going to go into how corruption works and control manipulation and whatnot. Um, so anyway, even with people who are good people, and there are a lot of good people, and there are a lot of good people in, the, in these systems. Now, here is the big kicker, all right, so this is the part where you need to be watching the mirror. So if you don't have the mirror, pause right here. Three, two, one. You ready? You're watching your face. There is no government. Period. There's no country, state, um, county, local. No, none of that is a government. There are no governments. Okay. Now, for the people who aren't laughing because they, they think they're all-knowing gods, and for the people who have been, remember, a lie doesn't become the truth because you've been told it 10,000 times. That makes it propaganda, okay? So we're going to talk about prerequisites and definitions to, to an extent. I'm not, that's not the topic of this video, but it's to kind of breeze through so you have a comprehension when I mention the um, parties involved, so to speak. There is a level of comprehension about uh, where I am relative to how a lot of the stuff intersects. Um, and so basically, um, Taco Bell is not government. Why is Taco Bell not government? Let's say that you and I were on the board of executives and we were legitimate, um, and Taco Bell decided, hey, um, the government is incorporated. Okay, when you see all capital letters, that means incorporated. Okay, and so, but a business doesn't have the right to connect itself as a government. Why? Because supposedly law is defined by government. No, laws are actually derived based on the 50-50% where our equal rights end. All right? And only we are only equal in rights. We are not equal in capacity and capability and whatnot. That's fascist propaganda. Anyway, coming back here. Um, so government um, and business and criminal. Now, these are three very distinct, different things. As a legitimate businessman, I have no interest in imposing on anyone's uh, rights, all right? Criminals impose on individual rights. That's the 
that very clear distinction on that. So an example, uh, a lot of my uh, YouTube subscribers, we, we're big on uh, technology. And I do not buy Intel and NVIDIA because they are explicitly criminal. They are criminal to each other, and they are criminal con to consumers. So I stopped buying their products, okay? Um, it, 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 when you spend money, you're voting for the world that you want to see. So um, I'm not going to say AMD is perfect. Um, they have a lot of incompetence sometimes. But anyway, that's not the, the main topic of the video here. Um, but for those of you who are like, hey, what, what, what is this? Is this? Yeah, it's, it's still me. It's still Mr. Tech, uh, tech guy here, tech man. Anyway, so, um, so if we're, let's say we're on the board of directors, we, and, and corporations could be government, which they can't, that's, that's not how it works, okay? Um, then we could just outlaw the competition. Or we'd make laws, okay, they're not laws, they're rules, um, and they're, po they're fo actually policies, okay? Because remember, uh, uh, um, we, would, we would outlaw our, the, the people that we're competing with, all right? So there are similarities between business and uh, criminals. There are policies, okay? Now keep in mind that as a businessman, I have policies for my policies, how I handle bad clients, my policies for what, you know, the questions I have to ask and how I help people. And okay, these, these people try to rip me off and this person didn't want to pay their bills. And hey, this person's trying to help me out. So how can I, you know, what, what's a good policy to make sure that, that I don't drop the ball because someone's trying to help me out, that I'm going to help them out in return and I want to make sure tit for tat, um, that kind of thing. Criminal organizations have policies too. They operate like a business, but remember, the distinction is they intentionally impose on rights. That's the, the really only, um, that's the simplest distinction. Now, how they impose on rights, that's different. We could be talking about like something petty or trying to pass laws or policies um, and whatnot. Uh, outright murder, genocide, I mean, there's, the, the range is, is, is huge. Um, and so, and like an example, there is no law enforcement, but there are policy enforcers, criminal policy enforcers. So that's one of the things they don't like because they have the, um, so I'm going to get into talking about the groups in, in a moment here. Um, there are policy enforcers for the criminal organizations, all right? They don't have authority. None of that has authority. It's none of that is government. None of this is, is lawful. No, there's law and legalism. Legalese is explicitly criminal, period. No exception, okay? So the moment that, even if you go into a government organization, all right, and you yourself have no criminal intentions, nothing that you do has it has any there's nothing official there's nothing legitimate be, because when you try to pass something through a criminal system the system's criminal period all right it has no effect okay so how they they um how they work against you is they personify you and they give themselves the right to act with the personification of you okay so just like United States of America, all capital letters, corporation, state of Florida, Florida State, those are two different entities. Both are criminal. Um, Mamie T. County, Sarasota County, again, all capital letters, those are all corporations, and therefore, because corporations have the right to act as government, they are instead not corporations, they are criminal organizations. So, yeah. That, that's, that's, people get exhausted from this stuff because you have to kind of figure this out. You have to stop and pause. And, and a lot of people have a lot of noise, literal noise, or just distractions. And, and there's a lot of stress in people's lives. So it's very difficult for people to figure this out and, and, and um, get the, the, the dots connected and, and, uh, correctly. And a lot of people don't verify. Most people don't verify information. All right. So I don't want people to just blindly believe me. I want you to go out and verify a lot of this information. You can start with chemtrails versus contrails and whatnot. Um, but I don't want to make this like a three, four hour video or whatever. All right, so the technology that they use. So they use invisible uh, invisible drones, all right? How do I know this? Because I got my umbrella and I hit uh, the end of my umbrella to metal plating. 
I'm getting out of my car. There's no metal. Cars are all basically plastic, but spine would, you know. Um, so, that's how I figured it out. I'm not going to go into that, but they have a lot of weapons that are built into this. Um, they have used weapons on myself and other people that can literally override parts of the brain, I think it's in the back, that handles um, speech. So, when you're, so, an example, if you ever, uh, for your self-analysis, when you're, when you're thinking, something, hey, this is a great idea, and then you say it out loud, and it doesn't sound the way, it doesn't sound as good when you say it out loud, that it sounded internal, that's because it's two different parts of the brain that are handling that. Okay, and there's ways that you can kind of zero in on parts of your brain and you can actually kind of feel and sense that um, because you'll, your neurons are firing into parts of the brain, different topics and whatnot. So, uh, like your prefrontal cortex uh, handles the, should I say this, you know, it's, it's a large part, especially the front left part of the brain. The left part of the brain protects the right part of the brain and a lot of the criminal activities figure out how to get past the left part of the brain. Remember, my left is your right. My right is your left, because the cameras are reversed and whatnot. Okay, and our eyes are reversed, literally. Um, right eye to left brain, right brain to left eye, something like that. All right, so um, they use these tools now um, for corruption and controlling the politicians. Now a lot of um, when they want to control and get a, a vote on something to pass law, they, none of this is law. The, literally, the United States of America is an anarchist state. And there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that your country that you live in or nation is an anarchist state. Okay, and if you go to like Asian countries, they use the Latin characters because there's no upper lowercase for um, those Asian characters, but they use Latin. And you see Latin characters, which is the Latin alphabet, all uppercase letters. And you see that that's the same thing. Um, and when you see your name in all cover, uh, it's not your name. It's fraud by personage. They have personified you as this thing that they're going to interact with because. Um, the way their system works is they cannot interact with natural human beings, our natural and sovereign endowed rights. Like, oh, sovereign, he said sovereign, that's evil, right? What's the opposite of sovereign? Slave. Okay. What does all this stem from? One of the things it stems from, well, not the stem, we could talk about alien intervention and human genetics and whatnot and, and whatnot. Um, a lot of this is Marxism. Who wrote, who wrote uh, who, what is Marx? Well, Karl Marx, okay? The filthy commie himself will the Communist Manifesto. And there's only one sentence that you need to know that brings all this together um, for the mentality of this. The abolishment of private property. Who doesn't own property? Slaves. When I got up, I put on my clothes. When I'm hungry, I'm going to eat my food. When I got to go to work, I'm going to drive my car. I have my things, all right? And why do you have a door with a lock on it, hopefully, right? And that you're using a lock because you're protecting your stuff that you that you worked your butt off, that you earned with your money, okay? Property rights are the foundation of all other rights. So, and my computer put itself on the street because I'm probably on like half hour. Okay, they didn't restart my computer. Um, so they have all these weapons on these drones and they can restart my computer whenever they feel like it. It's not a black, white, simple, um, easy bit here because there are people who are trying to help me, but at the same time, um, when I have people restart, restart hack, attack my computer, um, that has psychological effects, okay? And you can sense different parts of the brain with other parts of the brain and when I'm like, oh no, and I'm like, oh, I hope they don't do this, whatnot, even though it's one part of my brain, that's pissing off a lot of the other parts of my brain, okay? And that's uh, like your, your psych that's a psychological training of the brain. No, uh, I'm trying not to use strong language here or even moderately strong language here, but um, think of the opposite of heaven for that, no, oh yeah. So, um, in basic psychology, when you're raising a child, or if you are a child, um, when you most people have dealt with bullies, right? And there's only one appropriate way to deal with bullies: you attack them back harder, faster, and you make it clear you are not going to relent. I I I, I was not an aggressive child. I was not like, hey, um, let, let's beat this these guys. I, I'm always like, hey, I'm the nice guy, blah blah. blah. But you shouldn't let people bully you. 
Um, you shouldn't let people take advantage of you. So you need to learn to stand up for yourself. So basically now, um, there are groups now, I don't want people going out to um, harassing these groups or going after these groups, but these are the groups that research. I want people to research, okay? Uh, and I want to keep in mind that uh, I was told that there was a, a vote to see if they would murder me because I, I, when I've learned, I've learned the most difficult way possible for pretty much all the topics in my life, okay? Because I didn't have really the proper upbringing. Uh, I didn't have the friends. I didn't have the, f the, f the, f the, f the friends of the family. There were no business people. I had to learn everything the most difficult, humiliating way possible. The way I learned, basically, it felt like I was getting up on stage and on international TV in front of half humanity, dropping my pants down and saying, and then like, okay, we're going to allow you to know what you need to know now. That's how I learned most of the stuff in my life. So I've made a lot of mistakes. And I made a mistake about you know, how I worded things back in 2017 and had the, uh, they sent criminal, criminal policy enforcers, i.e. police, Right, not law enforcement, because there's no law, the prerequisite, not the definition, the prerequisite, what you have to have, like, you're not going to bring your umbrella out on a sunny day, in most, for most people, and yes, I get, I, I'm, I'm in Florida, and the, and the sun's very hot, so I'm actually not that far away from saying, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to bring an umbrella, um, it's just too hot, and I'm not here by choice, a lot of people are, I'm not, in Florida, so, basically, yeah, uh, the, the psychology, you don't want to allow the psychology to overwrite uh, your brain. And, and so I do think there are people who want to see me succeed. Um, and so basically what I'm forced to do with this video and what I'm forced to do by taking time out of what I'm doing at this very critical um, infrastructure uh, point, uh, uh, you know, point that the 20 years I've been building my business. And by the way, I have one client who's a, who's a family member. That's it. All right. So I've been intentionally isolated in, in all my endeavors. All right, been forced into stories to be, to be told, all right, which is not how I've been running my life. I don't want to be running on fumes. I don't want to have to be begging family members for money so I can keep my checking account on the notion that I might get paid in a week or two or, two or something like that. All this stuff is control, okay? And I don't think everyone in all these groups I'm going to mention in a moment are inherently evil, are goons, and are, you know, but there are definitely some. Um, and there's definitely some that are uh, either in the police themselves or if they're being forced to, um, who controls the police? Well, well I get into that. So the, the first direct group are the Florida Sheriff's Association Criminal Organization. Okay? Uh, they are the ones who hire people who operate the invisible drones. Um, you can detect the drones on different um, uh, um, infrared um, and, and the other the opposite side uh, whatnot um, and there are videos that, that have been released that people have gotten out there um, there are people who like you, you'll come across these videos and oh this, this person's crazy but a lot of the stuff is true and a lot of the stuff is covered up and they take down these videos and whatnot so um, I am very much anti-corruption I am when I say I'm pro-government I mean legitimate government being held very to stringent um, uh, um, standards, that's not the word I'm looking for, and um, so none of this is government, and all of the stuff that I'm talking about, um, that I'm talking about is, is, is corruption. Um, so now the sheriff's, uh, the, the, the police, and specifically the sheriff's association that, uh, and the people who control these are uh, directly, the, the uh, hierarchy, so to speak, are by Freemasons. Or they're a kind of secret society but they're secret in the sense that very few people just do research, right? And most people blow off what is being said, okay? Uh, and there's like subsections and whatnot. And all these hierarchies, it's not just a, a vertical, uh, it's, there's a lot of horizontal um, ways of compartmentalization of who knows what and who has access to what. So uh, it's a very, I mean, these people have had you know, if we go all all the way back, um, apparently this goes from um, supposedly I don't know, okay, because we all know about evolution and the whole we were gonna Plato bit, um, but there's like the missing link, and so apparently we could go to alien intervention and Anunnaki coming taking hominids that that they were, and then uh, part of our DNA is from them, and they locked off a lot of the good stuff, and 
all that other stuff. And so apparently they said, hey, that some of these uh, some of these families were going to choose you, and you're going to be our representatives on Earth. And they made humans, uh, they sped up our evolution overnight to make us into slaves, and they left. And that, that's a whole thing I don't know. I don't know, but this explain a lot. But I don't have any way to verify that information, so I don't. I don't do belief. I do levels of that. That that's okay, maybe. And as I learn more stuff, the the pop the prob the possibility, the likelihood that it, it's true, goes up. But it never gets to like a hundred percent because I don't have the ability to verify that information. The stuff that I am talking about, the keywords that you need to do the research, DuckDuckGo, not Google. You can kind kind of use Duck. Uh, Google sometimes, but it's rare that you're going to get good results. And even some of the stuff is censored on DuckDuckGo, which is uh, powered by Bing, which is Microsoft. All this stuff is interconnected. So it's like a uh, group. So um, Tallahassee made itself known. It was kind of known back when I was attacked, physically attacked in 2017. Um, and it made itself very, uh, very much more known about roughly know, four to eight weeks ago, something like that. Um, possibly the CIA, possibly the this, this secret, uh, this, uh, secret Service, maybe. Um, the FBI was involved at the very beginning. There's, I mean, this stuff is very interconnected. And when you have cutting edge web technology, um, it gets a lot of people's attention. Um, but I've been struggling all these years because I haven't had positive signal. Positive signal is, here's exactly what you should do. Okay, fantastic, thank you. I haven't had, I've had negative signal. I, I know that I shouldn't, if I'm dancing, don't step on someone's toes. That's easy. You, anyone can figure that out on their own pretty easily enough. But what, what you should do, especially when you don't have people you can ask and whatnot, and you're very isolated, that becomes an issue. So... Yeah, um, unfortunately, um, for better or worse, I'm actually the source of some popular culture things, for, for lack of a better term. Um, the whole, they're going to uh, come and take your, your gas stoves. That was me. They're listening to kind of conversations. I'm talking like, when I'm going to move out, I'm, I'm staying with family, I hate gas stoves. I don't want gas stoves. Um, you know, I, I had a motorcycle, so I hate breathing in diesel fumes because you're not in a car and... You, that can circulate the, the air that's already in the car. Uh, and so, you know, the, the whole, like, we're, we're going to let the diesel reserves uh, return down. I'm not saying that because I, 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 I'm proud or I'm happy about that. It's just, that's people waiting for me to get to a certain point in life. Uh, and so they're bored waiting for me because um, a lot of the stuff, like the surveillance is 99.9% is, 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 is waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, so I can't say that all these groups, that all of them, the people in these groups are bad, um, because I was told that, hey, we, hey, someone, some random stranger came up to me and said, hey, we had a vote, and we, we were voting that we, uh, we're not going to murder you. Like, who does that when, when you have literal criminal groups? So these are still individuals. They're still people with their own perspectives. I don't know if it's the police re-saying, um, well, and it's obviously people who are working for the police. I don't know if it's their personal thing, or if the Freemasons told them to do that, or I don't know how, where the Freemasons and CIA, if that's like a thing. I don't know if they're parallel, if there's a hierarchy there. I don't know how all that, that stuff works, but it is a thing. And i got to kind of wrap up this video. So um, I do want people to download the source video. Don't favorite the video. Don't, I mean, yeah, you can like it or dislike it, whatever. Um, but... Uh, give it like right now, I is like Idaho, uh, so I YouTube to MP4.com. Um, if you just take the link, uh, the URL from the, the the address bar at the top of the, the page, uh, and do this on the desktop. Don't do this on a freaking phone. I'm sure you can save the video so the, the source video on the phone, but phones are toys. Uh, it's very easy to lose all your. You should be saving source videos when you come across this stuff, especially something that's information dense like this save the video uh, because if I make it big one day and you have this actual uncut video of me talking about this stuff you could say yeah I knew him 
and I knew what he was going through. And so when you see me, let's presume that they don't get get rid of me or whatever, because either I'm, my life has zero value or my life will have an immense value. And uh, if I get into some pretty um, up there stuff, um, I will be wearing protection against these ele electromagnetic um, weapons. So, yeah, it, it, it's real. And just because it sounds weird or strange or I would never do that. And for all those who look, I would never do that so no one else would do it. Get in a car and drive on the highway. Especially when you're not the only one there like in the middle of the night. And you tell me, oh, I wouldn't do that. There's sure a heck, there's a lot of people driving. I know people. I wouldn't drive like that. I don't drive like that. Oh, that's not me. Those people are driving like that. And to you, to a lot of people, you're that person. I wouldn't drive like you. So that whole argument, yeah, there are people who do do these things. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, download the source. Um, you can use like JDownloader. That's a good program. You can download to, the pro to your computer and run it on your computer. And just copy-paste it a lot. Uh, that's another thing. There are websites because uh, of YouTube infringement and all that. Some of these websites get taken down. But just look up, like, even Google will give you the results for them sometimes. If you can't find them on Google, uh, use them on DuckDuckGo. Um, if I, like, stop making videos or I don't respond, if you contact me. And you can contact me, jobblicky.com, jabcreations.com. That's jab, like a, like a fist. Um, go look at my other videos. Usually you'll see like my, you'll see my phone number. You can get my phone number on there. I'm just not, I'm just trying to commit to getting this video up there uh, and showing people that, hey, they spend a lot of money to do all this stuff uh, and, and insert themselves into my life. And if they're going to, uh, you know, attack me at any level, there are going to be consequences and they're going to be painful. And everyone's going to notice that I am not doing what I'm doing. And so the good people working on in and around my life, because apparently I'm going to be doing some very major things, um, they're going to get pissed off with the whole thing, and it's going to create a lot of internal conflict, and that's the point. Because if they're creating internal conflict and, and, and having an effect on different parts of my brain, or, oh no, oh no, they're going to reset my computer, or I can't restart my computer, I am going to return that favor. Good for good, bad for da uh, bad, for bad, tit for tat. That's how this works. I don't like that, but you have to stand up against bullies. And I don't even know who exactly is doing that. So, and I'm trying, I'm really trying to be fair here, but, you know, when everyone knows who you are and you don't know anything other than general groups, maybe a few names, I even helped one of these people move, one of the operators from this, and they know what they're doing. Okay, and, I, he, you know, that, you know, and it's, 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 yeah, it's mostly men, too, by the way. Uh, I'm sure there's some women involved at some point, but um, most of the stuff is men. Uh, but don't demonize men. I say, when I say men, because you're supposed to be held uh, to the point of being a man. But anyway, i got to cut this, this video short. Um, you can go on to my, go to my main YouTube channel, um, look at some of my videos around, like, 2020 to 2020, uh, early 2024. My phone number's there. My website li list is there. You you are welcome to contact me if you've been victimized um, or you think that you've been um, uh, attacked in, in some of these, these ways. Let me know. Um, no left-wing extremists. There's not really many right-wing extremists, but left-wing extremists, I do not deal with political extremism. Um, I don't care about anyone's particular political leanings, um, but I will not talk with um, I'm interested in talking with journalists, not media. Media is the, the basically the corrupted version and whatnot. So um, if you a good way to tell if you are a legitimate journalist, not in the media, is that one, you weren't sent to me by any of these groups. That's a pretty good indicator that you are not that, that you are not media, that you're a journalist. And second, a good indicator that you are a legitimate journalist is that you will go out of your way to interview people, especially if they disagree with your personal stance because that's the only way that we can learn and grow and because if you hone in on your personal bias you'll never learn you'll never grow um, and so a, a, a very quick thing um, to give a little extra value to people who are watching this um, if you believe the mainstream media you would think Iran is filled of, of evil 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 people every group has their good and the bad and they're neutral 
and I watched the, I think is Indiegogo is a good channel. He, he literally went walking around in, in Iran. And we're not talking government or pseudo government, or whatever. Pseudo means appearing to be, but not really. I don't know um, if, if Iran has a government or, not, or if it's the same thing. Not the point. Um, and he found that in uh, Iran, Persian culture is when you have a guest, you treat them. Uh, it's very important to treat guests uh, with with um, with respect and be very welcoming, very warm environment, and whatnot. So it's not this, not the kind of thing that you see on the TV, in the media, and whatnot. Watch those documentaries. Watch things about people and groups. Yes, there 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 are some. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Where it's like, you know, um, it's the thing where like, oh, all, all black people, this, all that, that, this group, all that group, whatnot. Uh, stereotypes. Stereotypes are, have some validity. They have some validity because they are derived. Um, so they have some validity, but they are not absolute. So it, it's good to, you know, uh, propaganda will inundate you all this group because that's all, they want everyone fighting divide and conquer because it's the people above us and, and above it doesn't mean rich people because one day I'm going to be hopefully very wealthy and it's not because I want money because om nom nom me 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 it's what can I do to help people so anyway I'm John Balicki it is now Sunday April 14th at 5 45 p.m. I got to cut the video short here please share this video please download the source video and thank you very much for watching